We're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time too warm. Description, can you convert the number 42 in base 10 to binary base 2? And there are many ways we can do this. We could break out a calculator, for example, and we could put in, I'm going to change the mode to decimal, and put in the number 42, and then here we can see the representation in binary these bottom digits, the bottom eight rightmost digits. We could also use an online calculator, like Rapid Tables, one of my favorite, where we put in 42, and we would see the same string. I'd also like you, though, to be able to do this manually yourself, so I set up a quick demo of how you would do this by hand, as a party trick or whatever. You don't ever have to do this by hand, but it's nice to understand. So at the top, what we have is we have the powers of two, and it would keep going out, but we start at one, then we have two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, uh, 512, 1024. If you're working with computers, you're probably gonna learn these numbers pretty quickly because they're important because everything's based off of binary. Below, I want you to think of these like slots. You can put something into the ones column or the two or the four, et cetera. So right now we have zeros. So this number is all zeros. And in binary, it would be zero. I have instructions for how you would go about performing a transformation of something like 41 to hex. Don't worry too much about this. We'll walk through this. We'll walk through a few of these. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick the largest power of 2 that's not greater than 41. So that would be 32. And you put a 1 in that column. And then you subtract 32 from 41 which leaves you with nine as your remainder. Then you continue to work through the remaining numbers, working to your right towards the ones column, until you have a remainder of zero. And you ask at each point the question, is 16 less than nine? No, it's not, so that remains a zero. Is eight less than nine? Yes. So we would put a one in, and we would subtract eight from nine, leaving us with a remainder of one. Then we move on to the fours column, and we say, is four less than one? No, remains zero. Two less than one? No. One is equal to one. So we put a one into it. We subtract that one and we have a remainder of zero, which leaves us with our final answer of this string, 10, 10, 0, 1. So let's quickly, let's do one more just to reinforce it. And then we'll submit our flag and move on. So I'm gonna pick the number 67 because this will be easy. So we are starting with 67, and we are gonna ask the question, what's the first power of two that is less than uh, 67? And it's 64, so we'll subtract 64, and we're left with three. And we'll put a one in the 64 column. And then we're looking for something that can go into three. And 32 is too large, 16 is too large, eight is too large, four is too large, Two works though, two can go into three. So we will take away two. And now if you're keeping track, we have a remainder of one. And one perfectly fills that. So now we have this binary string of one, zero, 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 one, one. All right. Let's submit our flag. And I'm intentionally doing something wrong. We're gonna fail here, but I wanna show you something. Sorry, that flag is incorrect. These leading zeros, while they're not incorrect, aren't meaningful. We could have an infinite number of leading zeros and it wouldn't affect the ultimate number. So the answer is looking for something that starts with the first meaningful position. So the first position with a one. And now we've solved it. So just to expand on that a little bit, let's talk about decimal because everyone's more familiar with it. If we had this number, this looks like two billion number, we could put as many zeros in front of it as we wanted to, and you would still agree this is still two billion and whatever this is. These zeros, they have no meaning. They're not incorrect, but they're extraneous. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was, you can help me out by liking, subscribing, commenting, hitting the bell. Thanks a lot.